Okay, um, second last slide. So what we're looking at here is just a summary of the different commands in Statter that you can use to produce the graphs that I've shown you in these particular um, lecture slides. So frequency tables, um, we we'll remember were our categorical variable numeric summaries. Um, the summarize command, the second one here, is a table of numeric summaries for those numeric variables, and then the rest of them are graphs. Um, so the variable in italics is the, going to be the name of the variable in your data set that you want to do a summary of. So this is just for your info um, so that you've got the particular written out commands here. All right, in summary, summarizing data is important. So thinking about how best to communicate the kind of take home message of what the most of your data represents, what the majority of your data is saying. Um, that's an important thing. And particularly when we're thinking about communicating statistics or communicating research, thinking about the most appropriate summaries for your data is actually a really important thing that a lot of people mess up and don't do particularly well. And I'll be coming back to this a number of times throughout the semester in terms of thinking about the best ways to present data, to summarise data. And the second last lecture, the week 12 lecture, will be all about how to best communicate um, data. We will talk in more detail about graphs. Won't that be exciting? Remember that there's two different types of, of summaries that we can do. There's graphical summaries, those graphs or using those charts. There's also numeric summaries, so using numbers to represent data. Remember that we can do numeric summaries even for categorical variables, and those are those frequency tables. So thinking about how many people fall into each category or how many observations fall into each category. Obviously, different kinds of summaries, different types of summaries are appropriate for different sorts of variables, so categorical versus numeric variables. And normal distributions and the features of, the, of a normal distribution are particularly important for our numeric variables and are particularly important for the fundamental process of doing inferential statistics that we're about to do. Um, so next week we'll be talking, or I'll be talking a whole lot more about that. So it'll be very exciting talking a lot more about normal distributions. Um, so thinking about the features of a normal distribution are really important, but also because they just tend to be quite common ways of summarising information for the things that you see in the world, for a lot of physiological parameters, even for a lot of psychological parameters. So things tend to be normally distributed. Variables tend to be normally distributed if they're numeric variables. All right, that's it. Bye, guys, and I'll see you and talk to you again next week.